Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is Bot Libra. I'm trying to use their CSV list import. It uh, doesn't appear to be working. Here is my <clears throat> my CSV. Here is the input, and here are the possible responses as dictated by the instructions here. Uh, each response can have multiple questions. I don't know why it would be a question. I think it would be a response. Each response can have multiple questions. Um, and I think this is the example here where it's separated by question marks but not commas, which is what I did here. Question marks, uh, maybe the 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 comma here is messing up, which would be a bummer because it would <clears throat> break the um, correct grammar. So <clears throat> we will import into the CSV import bot. Uh, what I'll do is I'll change this and I'll copy it. C, control V, and now I'll say um, bonjour just for giggles. And then change that to French. And bonjour. And let's keep everything else. Now, let's also make sure that the bot is not aware of bonjour which means we need to go back to the bot, my bot, CSV import bot. This is a test. And we're going to see if, if it does. Sure. Where is that coming from? Maybe this has a default bot. Recorded by the bots being embedded. OK, by the bots administrator. I am the administrator. So let's take a look at where CSV is getting its knowledge because I didn't program it with bonjour. I know I didn't. So where is it getting that awareness? Active scripts. Okay, so here's the active scripts. One of them, well, see, it doesn't have, it doesn't show me what the text is of this unless I download it. I presumably export the script. Self, self. Let's take a look. Open. Self is not what I thought it would be. So <clears throat> understanding, see, I, it should show me the text here of what it knows, but it doesn't. Loop, math, etc. Say it, what it is, my name is. So there's lots to learn with Bot Libra. Um, might be free or it might be open source, but it's not straightforward. And while we're here, they have almost no training or documents on their YouTube channel to actually help get people up and running. You can see they haven't really done much in the last eight months. All right, that's my failed attempt to try and figure out how... No, let's go with something it's never going to know. Let's try that and see if it knows ASDFASDF. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm going to correct you. I'm going to put an answer. Please learn how to type Please type again. Let's try again. Okay, and then we'll call this error. Uh, error and error. These are keywords. All right, so now save this. Control S. Sorry, you don't need Control S. I'm going to download it as a CSV. We'll call this new or v1. Now let's go back to our import, which is, where is it? Going to import. Hmm. Let's see, it's the, the UI on this is, not very straightforward. Okay, so training logs, import. Upload, I'm going to import chatbot CSV, CSV list, import. Okay, now, um, learning and settings, it's not going to show me what is inside, but maybe it will show me, see it didn't, it didn't actually update the active scripts here in terms of what I've imported in terms of knowledge. I should have something that says something like, um, I should have something that looks like, like this, or rather, V1, oh, the chat bot, but I don't. So let's close that. Let's go back to our bot, CSV. Okay, now. Okay, so it did pick up on this new learning that I just imported. But um, it didn't separate based on the information given here. If I'm separating them by separated by question mark, let's try that. I'm going to add this again. <clears> hey. <throat> Learn, oh, learn how to type. Okay, now I'm going to export this as version 2. Download v2. Save. Now I'm going to import it again. Training and chat logs, I believe. Upload, choose file, v2, open, response to the CSV, import. Okay, now my bot, F5, and control V. Okay. See, this is not what it's supposed to be. The question mark, as described in the documents, each response can have multiple questions separated by question mark. There's no example here of this, as far as I can tell. And that's the issue. Documentation, uh, at least for this particular page, has not been updated since June 2014. Okay, uh, I hope that's helped somebody sort out the bot Libra CSV import it's not perfect, but it does work a little bit. Thank you, and happy computing.